They knew this church because they've passed it a thousand times and it's an icon to them and it's a beacon for them. And there's something about seeing this church here that, that touches some part of them. People seeing the steeple and having that moment where they see the steeple and it really makes some connection to them. And that's why we would love to see the steeple stay. We would love to see this church stay. St. Josephat has served the Catholic community of Detroit since 1890. Today, the doors of the church are closed. The city of Detroit ordered them shut after a November storm. We had winds in excess of 60 miles an hour and um, it, it did some very severe damage. The structural integrity of the main steeple that rises 200 feet into the air was compromised by the storm. Emergency measures were taken to stabilize it, but a permanent fix is required before the church will be allowed to reopen. For the first time in 112 years, we did not celebrate Christmas Mass in this building. And that was really difficult for a lot, a lot of people to not have that tradition. The worship space is awe-inspiring with its 65-foot ceiling, painted murals, stained glass windows, and beautiful altars. This, this is a church. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it, when you walk in, it's like part of it is, is you know what, you feel some connection. Detroit's Polish immigrant population, served by this church, certainly felt that way. But now St. Josephat's future is uncertain. We either have to repair the steeple, restore it and repair it, or we have to take it down. But we have to do something. Whatever the decision, it will be costly, likely hundreds of thousands of dollars, money the parish simply does not have. Spokesman Joe Cohn says the Archdiocese of Detroit is not in a position to pay for the repairs. Where we don't get involved in, uh, in specific projects for buildings for specific parishes, unfortunately that's beyond the scope of what we can do. Last month, the church sounded an SOS, starting a campaign to raise funds. Nearly $30,000 has come in already, including donations from many who aren't Catholic and have no connection to the parish. These churches are landmarks, and that steeple is a landmark. But it will take more money and perhaps an answer to the prayers of the faithful for the spire that rises from the steeple to remain a piece of the city's skyline. If you'd like to help, we've got all the information on St. Josephat's Save Our Steeples campaign on our website, Detroit2020.com. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.